Hello everyone. We're back to continue the Bicocket Hat project. And let's get this next session going here. So the first thing is getting everything set up. Can be working with the hunter green part. And we need to get it folded up the brim so we so I know where the bottom of the little feather catch needs to be. Takes a little while here. That's a little, little high. That's more like it. Don't need the lime green yet. We will be there eventually, though. Right now, we're just working with the hunter green. Got to get it to work with me here. All right, I think. I think we may be at a point where we can actually get working on it. Maybe. Maybe. Ah, yes, I believe. Believe we're right. So now, where does this need to line up? Something like that, I, I think can verify that once I have a feather. So let's put that in underneath and see if everything looks like it's going to work. I think it will. So now comes the part of the entire endeavor here that I need to get some more equipment together. You now I'm going to need something to make it easier to get the needle through and ensure I don't jam it into the other side. So that's what this is going to be for. And can remove the feather now. And let's get working on threading the needle again. Shift all this over a little bit. I could have had the thread already in the needle and it ready to go. Didn't think about that at the right time. We'll manage though. Just get enough of the two colors of thread. Now, get them both through a threading instrument. And through the needle. And clip the other end, of course. And now with that, we should be good to go here shortly. Yeah. 
And yes, there will be moments when one video segment will blink out for a moment. The technology that I have available to me does not allow for long recordings from both angles. I have to work with what I have and so I shall. Should be at a point where both sides are even here. Has to fight with the thread though. I think that might be it. Don't need all of that. And now to put a decent sized knot into the thread joining the two double o doubled over strands together. And then once I have one knot, go ahead and add a few more. And I think we're ready to go. Just clean up the work area a little bit. Might not need that. We'll see. I definitely won't because I need to go through the back first here, so. But I will need it on this end. And it's quite a tight. Press. It's going through about three layers of material here, so I need something to kind of hammer it down. Uh, that might not work. Oh, it looks like it might have. Well, wonderful. Now, you're going to see a mistake I made happening real soon here. But I do fix that problem in this very video. Just give it a moment or two here and we'll, we'll be at that point. It is a lesson for always keeping everything pinned. And I'm getting tired of using the back of my punch for a job that should be done by something else, a hammer. And yes, it seems that two videos, videos have uh, desynced 
Sorry about that. But maybe we can get it back. All right, this is looking like everything is a little more in sync. Ah, well. I tried. And I recognize that one of the videos is has uh, lighting issues going on with it. But here's the issue that I was mentioning, that the problem I had. I should have pinned it down because I didn't. I'm having to shorten the amount of thread I had to work with. It's not going to be that big of a problem overall, but it, it is something to try to avoid. Also means I have to retie the knots. Get everything tied here, and then we should be good to try again, and this time I will be pinning it down. Don't know why I didn't, do not know. I do know I have to go grab a pen. So that will be a moment. And then we'll be back at the job here. Here we are, I have the pen. Now to get it pushed through. There we go, now to bring it back up and secure it so I don't get poked by it. And this is uh, more difficult than it was before due to the amount of fabric it's having to go through. Got it through. And with that, now we can begin for a second time. Bring the needle in, line it up. Tap away with the hammer to get it going through. Ease the foam board away. And then pull the needle through. And we'll be using the same Back stitch that we've been using. So let's keep working. Bring in the hammer again, tap away, and pull it through. There we go. 
Now to do that again several more times and this top part will be connected. Just got to keep working with it. Keep bringing the foam board and the hammer in. Push it through again. Flip it over, pull it through all the way, and get set up to do it again. Line things up once more and put it through again. One more time. and pull it through I had some had some excess there at the, from the start that needed needed to be trimmed off Back through again. And pull it through. Gonna do it one more time. And then it should be getting close to tie off. Let's see if I'm right. See if this is the last pass through it gets. No, looks like I'm wrong. Might get another round.
Yep. Tap it in one more time and pull it through. And with the hammer again. And through we go once more. Should be getting to the end here shortly. It's not that big a piece. Ah, uh, yes, now we're tying it off. And that should do it. Just get the thread to cut. There we go. Well, all right, that's that's the first end of that done. Next time we'll finish it off. Oh, pull flap. See you then. Hey there everyone, just wanted to say thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and want to see more, consider subscribing to the channel. Also, if you did enjoy the video, how about giving it a thumbs up? Alright, I will see you all next time.